Right, here we are. The Champions Cup has all been drawn, scheduled, everything. Um, haven't been able to organise with my opponent yet um, what to play. But there you go, it is what it is. Um, so this is this is how it's going to work. So like, you know, the winner of this match plays the winner of this match. Winner of this match plays the winner of this match. Winner of this match plays the winner of this match. Winner of this match plays the winner of this match. So you've got... Hello, Svaho Devil. So you've got... Um, Seers of the Rainbow Moon are 1800 TV Skaven, coached by Bang Bang, versus More Acceptable, which is 1940 Chaos Dwarves, coached by Ducky. Um, you know, without looking at the teams, obviously you can't you can't bet against Ducky, can you? So uh, I'll be I'll be selecting Ducky there. Chemtastic is the lash with 1620 Chemry. Um, Sila Crocodila or 1880 Lizards, coached by Corley and XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
although it looks good, it's actually not the best, is it? Especially for Skaven. Skaven can easily dominate ladder. Um, and he's got a claw pommer with tackle, as you would expect, kind of. And, a ta and a, just a tackle pom without claw. So he's got two killers there. Strength three, block, show hands, two heads, gutter. He's got the standard dauntless wrestle strip tackle, gutter. He's got the movement 10, sprint show feet, natural one turning, gutter runner. Disgusting. Blood step guard, kind of standard. Niggle door, so he'll be targeted severely. Wrestle tackle. And a dirty play, he's got 13 players. Um... So, you know, he's 140 TV down at the moment against Ducky. So there might be some kind of, you know, tricksy, you know, well, he can def with the money he's got, he'll definitely be able to buy a wizard. So, yeah, he may have got to 14 players and buy a wizard. Um, hello, Ducky. So, so yeah, you know, he's, he's got the tools to win, but does he have the um, the coaching the coaching ability? Who knows? I mean, maybe, but it's going to come down to a lot of dice, isn't it? He has Ducky's team, surprisingly no claw, which is actually good for him against the Skaven, because obviously he hasn't got wasted TV. Um, loads of Mighty Blow, one piling on, loads of guard, some Frenzy, some Tackle, Edge 4, two dirty players, 14 players. I mean, that's, he does have some nice gutter runners, but I, I think you can't bet against Ducky here at all. Absolute favourite. But, you know... If if the wiz if the wizard is devastating from the Skaven, um, thirty two eight four is pretty good, very good record considering you know they're not great early and they can easily draw. So um, yeah, you know if the it, it's going to depend on removals from either side. Obviously, the claw could just be insane for the Skaven. Skaven can score their one turner. Um, you know, so it's it's going to be interesting, and obviously the wizard could be crucial. Be interesting to see who he carries it on. Does he does he carry it on a bull for the safety um, of the agility for recovery after he gets bolted, or does he go for the safer pickup and um, show hands protection against strip? It's going to be very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm still back in Ducky, hundred percent for that. <laughs> right. Um, next one is Zalash with his Kemri. So, 1620 Kemri here. Um, what does he have? He's got a block frenzy, mighty blow, some mighty blow, some blodge. It's it's nothing special, like as as you would expect it not be for 1620. Very good record though, incredible record. Um, not a lot to say about that. <laughs> Let's have a look at the lizards. Oh, the lizards have a natural one turner, don't? Not a natural, yeah, a natural one turner. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, the lizards are a huge favourite for this because you know they've they've they can bash with them a little bit. They've got a strength six crocs. They've got some guard. Probably not enough to fight to go toe to toe with Kemri, but he's got the break tackle to like um, outmaneuver him and stuff. And look, an agility five guy and the, and the uh... but I mean this is going to be the crucial one, isn't it? It's the natural one turn. That you just can't stop. So um yeah, I reckon I reckon big favourite there, Colian. X X X X X X X X X. And that's gonna be interesting, isn't it? They, these lizards with a natural one turn are only twelve players, but he could go to thirteen or fourteen potentially, or buy a wizard in the next round. That's gonna be interesting, however they're against. Um Right. Debases Nos. I actually played Debases Nos. <laughs> <laughs> and he just trolled. Um, his record, 33-5-11, is, is not very good, obviously. Um, and let's see. Let's see if I can find my game against them. Probably not. He played a lot. VGP is Batman. There you go. He lost 1-0. He just, he just didn't even try. He, two expulsions, he just fouled every turn. He didn't even try to win, and um, but then randomly he beat he beat Ratchananigans, who were the top Skaven team at one point. He beat Inarian, you know. So he's 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 beaten some agility teams with this team, um, which is just bizarre, isn't it? It's just a team of mostly linemen, um, one berserker. He's got Fen spam, 
and he's got some stats. I mean, I think it's trash. The thing is, though, he is 500 TV downish, so he will be getting like you know, um, Cheney and a wizard and some other things. So he's he's almost got a chance just with Cheney. Uh, D he's playing Demon Ted's undead. And then, um, yep, so Demon Ted, it's just a standard. It's quite nice, it's it's standard, but it's quite nice, isn't it? It's just got, you know, he's got the four ghouls, they've got some skills, he's got the obligatory agility four one, he's got a show hands one, he's got a strength four white, agility four wide, some guard, it's pretty, pretty solid, it, pretty much exactly what you'd expect from an undead team at this TV, very good record. So yeah, I reckon Demon Ted will, will win that one comfortably. But you never know again, you just never know. Um, yeah, it mostly depends on how good the Skaven player is in the dice, exactly. So, I, you know, obviously we don't know how good the Skaven player is. But his record isn't the best, and, and we know how good Ducky is. So, I don't, I don't know what the percentage is. I mean, that's asking a lot, isn't it? Um, <laughs> right, the next one. Oh, God. Oh, th how insane is this, by the way? How insane is this? Basically, one of the best coaches with the best team. You know, strength four, frenzy war dancer, outrageous. Agility five catcher, movement nine catcher, another agility five catcher. <laughs> it's just, I think he is um, he is a lock for the semi-final. And probably, probably, you know, well, definitely favourite to win the tournament. Not a lock to win the tournament because, you know... He could get diced, couldn't he? Like, someone could just kill somebody every turn. Especially if he plays Ducky in the semi-final. Ducky could massacre his team. And also, Ducky does have Strength 4 Carrier to somewhat counteract the Strength 4 War Dancer. But, um, yeah. I mean, this is definitely favourite for the tournament. <laughs> He's playing against the worst team in the tournament. Which is hilarious, isn't it? Well, you couldn't get a more one-sided matchup than this. The luckiest team ever, obviously ironically named, as <laughs> they have two dead werewolves. <laughs> They've just got absolutely nothing. The strength four ghoul isn't bad, I guess. And like they've got some, they've got skills in places, but they are, they are t completely screwed. I think they've got no chance whatsoever. But they've got tackle mighty blow and tackle mighty blow piling on. So at least he might, you know, and he could induce a bribe and a wizard, and you know, you never know. He might get some cars on his way out. But I think he's definitely on his way out. I don't think he's got any chance whatsoever. Um, yeah, he just got he just got screwed in his last match um, or last two matches. So yeah, <laughs> not so lucky. Not so lucky having to fight Nurgle back to back and getting his team completely destroyed. So um, yeah, obviously lock lockdown for Notorious Noob there. Right, let's have a look at the Brett. Praiser of Sun. Seventeen ten. He's it, it's a bit pretty much exactly what you'd expect from a standard seventeen ten Brett team. Everyone's got Bludge. He's got the show hands guy, the frenzy guy, some Bludge steppers. One's got tackle dive and tackle. One's got guard. I mean, it's Pommer. Not sure about the pro. but not mind guard on the others. Um, no dirty player. That's that's the weakness of this team, isn't it? Only twelve players and and uh, no dirty player. I guess he would want two more players and a dirty player for it to be, or two dirty players and two more players for it to be perfect. But um, it's pretty standard, pretty pretty decent. Um, Twenty six four five, pretty good for Bretts. But he is up against the top ranked team on the leaderboard, as it was. Um, and it's it's quite low TV though, isn't it? It's only seventeen thirty. He's only got eleven players. Um, you know he's got a lot of guard and a weird runner, but a strength four one, strength four troll slayer. It's it's obviously a good team, but um, I'm not sure about the beta. I'm not sure about some of the, the skill selections. But he's got he had a great record, twenty three four one. Can't argue with that. And it's I just think the matchup favours the dwarves. But you you never know. Look, if the Pommer gets some lucky removals, um, the Bretts might be in with a chance. But I think the I think the dwarves will take that. 
All right, this will be interesting. What does look, looky look looks team look like? Look like? <laughs> I can't see them. Ah, there they are. No go. Nineteen twenty. Right. Mmm, looking pretty good. Strength four. Claw tackle is a bit weird, but if he gets a touchdown, he gets a mighty blow, and then looks really good, doesn't he? It's a rotter. All right, that's why he's only got claw. It's a rotter. I was thinking it was a pestigar there. So his pestigars, he's got three. One's just got mighty blow. One's got tackle and frenzy. So his pestigars are a bit crap, though he's got the obligatory haven't rolled any doubles carrier, which isn't very good either. A rookie warrior. Just guard on these guys. Just stand firm on him. Claw Palm Warrior. I mean, it's not the best 1920 Nurgle team I've ever seen, to be honest. It's, a, it's kind of a weak Nurgle team. 2792 is is, that, is a record you can't argue with. But um, pretty unimpressive. About as unimpressive as you can get for 1920 Nurgle, I think. So that's that's pretty um, that's pretty interesting. And then um, he's up against Murloc Joe with his humans. So I, at first I wrote off Murloc Joe here because I thought all his guys would get claw pommed, but you know he's he, he's got the bare minimum. I think this is a very efficient team. He's got his dirty players, thirteen players. You know he's got bludge step, a bludge thrower, tackle pommer, some guard. I think he would have had a lot better chance against some of the elf teams than he would against the Nurgle. It's like pretty much the worst race for him, is Nurgle. Um, for humans, I think humans' worst race to get matched against is Nurgle because they just outbash the hell out of you and there's not much you can do about it. So um, so I would say he's going out. But you never know if with a wizard. Gives him a chance, doesn't it? And as bad as that 1920 Nurgle is, it's still 1920 Nurgle, isn't it? There's, there's so much strength, so much guard. Some claw. It's really good. Hello, Bucket Bong. Um, not too bad, thank you. Um, so, yeah, I still, I'm still favouring the Nurgle. All oh, right, now it's time for my team. Okay. So, hopefully, you've seen this team before. Um, unexciting, which elf all normals. It's still decent, though, isn't it? Strength four, which is pretty amazing. Movement nine, sprint, sidestep, blitzer. Obviously, gives us a chance of one turns. Agility 5 guys, good. And just some blodge. 7 blodges. 2 tacklers. Um, pretty decent record. And then up against these high elves. 2000 TV. Um, slightly worse record than me. But a much better team in terms of TV. He does have... He has kept a lot of injuries. But, you know... Strength 4. Blodge step. Blodge step. He's got so much blodge, hasn't he? Ten blodge. So basically everyone... Oh, no, nine blodge. So nearly everyone on the team's got blodge. He's got two, three tacklers of his own. He's got a agility five stripper. He's got his own agility five guy. Um, Not two agility five guys. He's even got 12 players and a dirty player. So, um... Yeah, he isn't scumming a wizard, so that's good. I mean, I'm quite down quite a bit of TV, so I'll get a wizard against him. So um, there's a chance, you know, obviously, especially with an agility five recovery from a wizard. But he might, um, he might just carry with his thrower and hang back and kind of invalidate the wizard. But if I can make him score early and hang on to it, maybe I can win. Um, I think realistically he's the favourite, but obviously I'm going to back myself. <laughs> um, right, Rollar with a the chaos. The, these were the worst record. Well, no, apart from the Nor Norse, the Norse had the worst record, but the chaos were the. Um, there was a Norse team that did better. Um, Colian's Norse did better than um, than Debase's Norse. So the, the Chaos were actually the team, the lowest ranked team to qualify, with twenty two eight six, which um, funny enough was better than mine because <laughs> it fell apart. But he's got three warriors, um, you know, and they're they're really good warriors, aren't they? They're absolutely fantastic warriors. He's got. It's not a good carrier, is it? He's got a bludge carrier. Okay, so he's got a bludge carrier who can dodge on twos. He's got a rackler with agility four, block tackle, claw mighty blow, block tackle. So he's he's got a pretty nifty team against like elf elf kind of teams. But he's only got twelve players, and he's going to need his claw pump to do work against orcs. 
It is very, very effective for the TV. It only has three warriors, though, doesn't it? So that's the thing. But he's got a lot of skills stacked on them. Um, it is, it is a, it is a pretty. Yeah, it's kind of low TV. That's the, that's the problem, and it's it's kind of fragile, isn't it? And he's up against this monstrosity of an eighteen twenty orc team. Mm, not that much of a monstrosity, but got a strength five black orc, got five guard. Two dirty players, which is very good against him. He'll be scared to pile on against the double dirty, double dirty player. Tackle Pommer. Sure hands. Blodge frenzy. Blodge, blood. All of his blitzes are blodge, in fact. Um, but yeah, he compared to the orcs, he's gonna. He's basically it's gonna come down to. Can will the claw crack the orcs? That's the thing, isn't it? If the if the if the, if he just gets lucky, if he wins the toss, removes three orcs, he's got a really good shot, hasn't he? If he doesn't, he hasn't got much of a shot. T T B H fam, and um, taking taking a cue from V G P. Um, ah, it's not so good with the chat here. Or actually. It's not very zoomed in either, is it? Let let me um. Let me. Let me make it bigger. Okay. Right. So here we are. We've got. Um, I just I didn't bother with like you know the actual. The actual uh, names of the teams for this. I just went with the relevant stuff of who they are. So yeah, I reckon, I reckon definitely Ducky's gonna win that. But I mean, well, okay, I don't think he's gonna win. He's definitely the favourite. I don't think he's definitely gonna win, but I think he's the favourite. It's gonna be very interesting. Gonna come down to the Skaven coaches play and dice. I think Colin's definitely winning this one hundred percent. Um, and it's gonna be a big challenge for Ducky if he does. If he does beat the Skaven, it's gonna be a big challenge for him. It's going to be it's going to be really interesting. Skaven versus lizards as well. So this this is all very interesting up there. Demon Ted's going to crush Debasa. Notorious Noob's going to crush Wenteros. Then Notorious Noob is going to crush Demon Ted. So Notorious Noob's in the semi for sure. Against two though, it's going to be very interesting. And then I reckon Sid's going to crush Cyber Knight there. I reckon Lucky Luck Luck's going to crush Murloc Joe. And then whoever quali whoever wins out of these two, probably the Dwarves. I just don't think they're gonna. As bad as the Nurgle team is, it's still nineteen twenty Nurgle, isn't it? So I just can't back it. Can't not back it to win. So I reckon he'll get through at the semi. Got to back myself. It's gonna be really tough though. Hopefully the Chaos win but get battered, or the Orcs win. But whoever wins out of this, I hope just gets destroyed, and then I can I can beat them and then get the semi maybe. And then um, yeah, there's no MS paint. Sorry about that. And then you're looking at the semi, yeah. So it's, it's got a bit, a bit of a rough road as Ducky, yeah. But I mean, look, not not as tough as not as tough as Winteros. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I reckon, I reckon Notorious Noob will win whoever, beat whoever gets there, and he'll win. He'll win the tom, whatever happens. So um, I reckon Notorious Noob versus maybe maybe Lucky Luck Luck because I would I would fancy Lucky Luck Luck. 1920 Nurgle to beat 1720 Chaos or 1820 Orcs. So I reckon, yeah, Nurgle versus Wood Elves in the final, maybe. And um, maybe a win for the Wood Elves. So there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it, I'm not really down 360 TV, that's a thing, because I have got 10 players. So I could buy two more and be 1780. Um, and then it's only down 120 with a wizard. So, you know, <laughs> I think I think he should be favoured, but obviously I'm not going to not bet against myself. So there you go. So there's my um, there's my predictions and preview of all the different teams and that. Obviously, I'll be streaming my games. Uh, well, 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 will I? Will I? I'll be putting my games on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think I'll stream them, especially not with a. Not with all the money involved. I'm pretty sure I won't. I'll, I'll try to stream the other people's games and commentate and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to stream my own, actually. Um, but obviously you can, you know, there you go. Right, anyway, so that's that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
and stay fantastic.